you know, detection's always been a key element of the security architecture for organizations. Typically, they're using a layered approach. Um, you know, everything from AV to sandboxes, big data analysis, anomaly detection, you know, all of these key technologies that are being used to um, prevent malware or malicious code from reaching your end users' machines. Um, the problem with these technologies, though, is they're all focused on trying to determine, you know, malicious from benign. Um, and unfortunately, they all suffer from similar limitations in that, you know, they're prone to creating false positives. They're also prone to creating false negatives. Uh, it's also hugely costly to layer these technologies on top of each other because you have to buy them individually. So, you know, one of the, one of the ways that, that organizations can move away from that or augment those controls is to use something of a prevention-based technology. So one that's not deterministic based on, you know, good versus bad. Um, so essentially something like, you know, creating an air gap in front of the internet for your users to browse securely to the internet. Um, one technology that you could use for that is, is remote browser isolation. So it's a key way that our customers are using these, these new methods to prevent code from reaching their users and not having to determine whether they're, you know, infected or not infected. Uh, what it also does, it doesn't suffer from false positives, false negatives, so you don't get those, those alerts hitting your SOC, which are, you know, need to be analyzed, triaged, and remediated, essentially. So there's a number of key benefits to that, and uh, that's what we're seeing with our customers.